Hey there, tech enthusiasts, welcome back. Today, we're diving into the future of text-to-speech technology with Style TTS2. Let's see how this groundbreaking approach brings us closer to human-level speech synthesis. The installation for this tool is a bit complex as we need to set some environment variables. If you're not comfortable in doing that, there is a hugging face demo that is available for this tool. You can launch this and test out the functionalities. So basically, this demo is provided by Mr. Fake Name. And there are three different tabs. So let's try out. I'm going to use this text. And you can choose voices from this drop down. And then click on synthesize. So this will synthesize the audio and then you can play it from here. A free demo of Style TTS2. I am not affiliated with the Style TTS2 authors. So there are four male voices that are available and four female voices. A free demo of Style TTS2. I am not affiliated with the Style TTS2 authors. In the second tab, you can use voice cloning feature. So you can provide the text and the sample voice. So I do have one sample voice. The FBI, which was established within the Department of Justice in 19... So let's use this one. And then click on synthesize. free demo of style tts2 i am not affiliated with the style tts2 authors a bit close and then there is a third tab lg speech so lg speech is a public domain speech database data set which consists of a lot of short audio clips of a single speaker so in that case you just have to provide the text and click on synthesize a free demo of Style TTS2. I am not affiliated with the Style TTS2 authors. So in the voice cloning, I use the same. A free demo of, of Style video, TTS2. Uh, one of the I am not affiliated LGS with the Style TTS2 authors. Next, we will install this tool locally on Windows 11. Let's start the installation. First step is to clone the repository for that navigate to one of the folder where you want to install type CMD in address bar and press enter. This will open the command prompt next paste the command and press enter. Next we need to navigate inside the folder. Now we will create the virtual environment. Next, activate the virtual environment. So the virtual environment is now activated. Now let's install the requirements. So the first one is torch. So copy paste the first command and press enter. Now in the meantime, while the torch is being installed, which is going to take some time, Let's download and install eSpeakNG. So open this link in browser. Scroll to the bottom. And yeah, this is the latest release. So download eSpeak-NG-X64.msi. So once the file is downloaded, install this. Accept to the license agreement. Next, install. Once the installation is finished, click on the finish button to complete it. 
Now the next step is to set the env environment variable. So the default location of installation is this. This is where this has been installed. Yes. So if you have not changed the location, proceed with this. Otherwise, replace the path in these two lines wherever you have installed this. So click on the Windows key, type environment and edit the system environment variables. Now click on environment variables. Now we need to set the path. So I will delete this existing and we'll do it again. Now this is the path variable. So copy this. Under user variables for your username, click on new. Paste the variable name and paste the path here. Make sure to not copy spaces with the path or variable name. Now press OK. Now we need to set the second path, second environment variable. So copy this variable name. Click on new, paste the variable name, and then copy this path. This is the most important step without which it will not work. Press OK, OK, and OK. Now remember this path will not reflect in the existing command window that is already open. So once the installation is complete, we will have to close this window and then reopen it again. Now, since the installation is in process, let's do another step where we need to download some files. So open the link that is mentioned in step eight and open in browser. Now we have to download some files from here. So the files which needs to be downloaded are mentioned here. There are three files and one folder. So the best way is to copy the file name, search for this file and click on download. Repeat the same step for these, then make voices folder and under voices folder, there are some wave files to download it. So this repository has been created by Mr. Fake name. So credit goes to him. We need this file for the web UI. After downloading, it should look like this. So we should have three files and one folder with eight files, audio files within it. Now we can copy, cut or copy these files and place it in the cloned repository that is style TTS2. Now let's wait for this installation to finish. Then we have two more steps to complete. That is the requirements. And we have to also install Polymizer. Torch installation is complete. Next step is to install the requirements.txt. Next step is to install Polymizer. So copy paste the command and press enter. Next step is to install some more dependencies required for web UI. The installation is now complete. So now let's launch this tool for that type CMD in the address bar and press enter. Next, we need to activate the virtual environment. And the command to launch the web UI is python space app.py this will start the server and then we can launch the web ui so the server is running on this local url web ui so copy this url and launch in the browser Let's quickly try one of the text.
free demo of Style TTS2. I am not affiliated with the Style TTS2 authors. A free demo of Style TTS2. I am not affiliated with the Style TTS2 authors. Thank you.